The National Council of Educational Research and Training, NCRT, has approved a recommendation to replace the word India with Bharat in old school textbooks. The recommendation was made by a high level committee for social sciences. The committee also recommended introduction of classical history instead of ancient history in the curriculum. The committee's proposal was initially put forth several months ago, but this has now received formal endorsement. The next set of NCRT books will reflect the name change. Ashish Sana on the telecast with me. Ashish, you know, a big announcement by the NCRT. This is bound to bring about a political slugfest. Even as we saw controversy being uh, rigged up when the Prime Minister first used the term Bharat instead of India. Yes, of course, Megha, you are absolutely right. And it remains to be seen that how the opposition parties uh, who formed uh, their uh, new uh, uh, party in name India, how they are going to react. But uh, most probably a high-level committee for social science, uh, sciences constituted by the NSRC, uh, NCRT to revise the school uh, <coughs> curriculum has recommended replacing the name India with the Bharat in textbook and introducing classical history uh, instead of the ancient history. Uh, the, uh, and that particular committee chairman uh, today said, he also said that the Article 1 Constitution of India uh, states, India, this is Bharat, shall be the union of state. Bharat is an uh, uh, age-old name. This use of the name Bharat for his mention of ancient text such as Vishnu uh, Puran, which is 7,000 years old, he further added. So it remains to be seen that uh, how the political parties is going to respond. But yes, this is the name which replaces India uh, and uh, it's going to introduce yeah. for the next uh, season. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, uh, uh, the controversy uh, was brought into the fore, uh, Ashish, after uh, the opposition alliances came together and formed this block, which was the India block. Uh, and, and thereafter, the BJP started off with this trend of using Bharat as the name of the country instead of India. Yes, of course, you are absolutely right, Megha. Uh, when that uh, that opposition parties they form a new party name, India I dot N dot uh, dot D dot uh, I dot A, and after that the BJP has start a campaign. Uh, you can say in the whole over the country to change the name India as Bharat. And now this is the one more thing I think the opposition party is going to react it. Uh, but however, it is the recommendation of the committee of. Uh, uh, NCRT panel. Uh, it remains to be seen whether any PIL is going to be filed either at High Court or Supreme Court regarding this or not. Yeah, ob obviously questions perhaps are going to be asked. Thus far, we have not gotten any political responses from the government of India or for that matter the opposition. But, but there is likelihood of this becoming a political issue. And uh, BJP is going to be in the storm. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, that uh, the, the two sides we will uh, going to see. I think uh, after a few hours, that one that BJP is going uh, to support it, and the second uh, opposition is going to oppose it. It remains to be seen that who is going to conduct their uh, press conference first, whether opposition or BJP, because as we know that the BJP is backing it uh, since uh, several months, and now the opposition is also going to. Uh, um, I think uh, they are going to. Uh, do a press conference and they will uh, or they will uh, use X as we know that earlier it's a Twitter or they are going to uh, give any bite regarding that but it remains to be seen but one thing is that the political controversy will arise after that the NCRT uh, recommendation. Yes, all right. Uh, Ashisha, stay on with me. I have with me Anila Singh. She's the BJP spokesperson. Anila Singh, uh, now the NCRT coming about and uh, changing the name of uh, India to Bharat in all its textbooks. Uh, do you think it is right for uh, the NCRT, for the education board of the country or any other educational institution of the country to uh, dive into the very highly political controversy that was rigged up uh, with India block coming into formation. My Ram Ram to all. And I think uh, we are absolutely on right, right path. And I welcome the step from uh, step which has been taken by NCRT because 
दिस कंट्री दिस नेशन दिस राष्ट्र इज भारत एंड इट हैज ऑलवेज बीन भारत तो इन बिटवीन द इन्वेडर्स केम दे गेव द ओन नेम whether we talk about hindustan or whether we talk about uh, india so we did not finish hindustan we did not we are not going to finish uh, india if somebody wants to uh, uh, address this nation as india or hindustan they are more than welcome to do that but the reality is this was bharat this is bharat and this should be called as bharat only all right All right, Anila. Then another question because uh, there was controversy that was raised, particularly with regards to the invitation cards that had been sent out to the G20 heads of the states for the official dinner that was being hosted by the president of our country. Uh, president of the country was, uh, uh, you know, her name was put out saying Draupadi Murmu, the president of Bharat, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. the prime minister of bharat and uh, the opposition party was were up in arms they said why has the name of the country been changed from india to bharat those who say that the name of the country has been changed from india to bharat i really pity them because they know it very well that this this is bharat the name india was given by britishers so those especially though that political party which has been handcrafted by britishers definitely they are going to feel pain of it that why the name is going to be changed from india to bharat okay stay But on with me anila the- anila singh please stay on with me i have with me the congress spokesperson as well uh, anu jatre anu jatre first reaction of the congress of you as the spokesperson of the congress of the ncrt deciding to change the name of india in its textbooks to bharat see these things will not make any difference because bharatiya janata party in order to divert the attention of public as the elections are on head aur unko dikh raha hai ki jo itne 9 and 1/2 years ki jo failure hai to usko kaise diversion kiya jayega public ke attention ko kis tarah se jo hai jo 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 major issues hai jo jo ग्राउंड के जो इश्यूज हैं पब्लिक के उन पे काम नहीं किया है तो अभी नहीं बातों में उलझाया जाएगा अभी तक इन्होंने फ्रॉम पास्ट नाइन ईयर्स वी सीन हिंदू मुस्लिम हिंदू मुसलमानों के इन्होंने झगड़े खिंचवाए हैं उन्हीं पे इश्यूज पे बात की है आप जो है ये इंडिया और भारत से वी हमें इंडिया में भी कंफर्टेबल है हम भारत में भी कंफर्टेबल है हम हिंदुस्तान में भी कंफर्टेबल है बट द थिंग इज क्या इंडिया से भारत लिख जाने से एजुकेशन सिस्टम ठीक हो गया है क्या ये बता सकते हैं कि पास्ट नाइन एंड हाफ ईयर्स में जो एनसीआरटी आज इंडिया से भारत बीजेपी के प्रेशर में कर रहा है क्या वो सब चीजें उन्होंने अपने उसका स्टेटस देंगे पहले जब अपने रिपोर्ट कार्ड प्रेजेंट करेंगे कि थ्रू आउट द इंडिया कितने इन्होंने नए स्कूल खोले कितने इन्होंने जो है अपने बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट ने कितने कॉलेजेस कितने आई कितने एम्स कितने जो मेडिकल कॉलेजेस खोले हैं क्या वजह है कि आज जो है एजुकेशन इतनी एक्सपेंसिव होती जा रही है गवर्नमेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन में लोग जाना पसंद नहीं करते हैं एजुकेशन प्राइवेट इतनी एक्सपेंसिव होती जा रही है और जो प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स हैं वो इससे प्रॉफिटेबल होते जा रहे हैं तो आज इन चीजों पे बात ना करके अनु जी योर पार्टी एंड द अदर ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज हैड ऑब्वियसली रेज द इशू व्हेन द जी20 प्रेसिडेंशियल डिनर वाज होस्टेड वेयर द्रौपदी मुर्मू हर डेजिग्नेशन वाज पुट एज प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ भारत if if the congress and other opposition parties do not have a problem with whether india is called india or bharat why was a why was a hue and cry raised regarding the president's nomination president's uh, uh, designation definitely dekhiye problem hogi ki aap president ko unka jo uh, unke jo respect hai jo unka protocol hai usme aap unko curtail kar dete hain unka cut down kar dete hain lekin अपने कन्वीनियंस के अकॉर्डिंगली अपने पॉलिटिक्स के बेसिस पे आप प्रेसिडेंट का नाम चेंज करने में भी जो है अपने हिसाब से आप प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया प्रेस को जो है जो हमारे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में भी लिखा हुआ है प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया हर चीज में इवन जो बीजेपी के टॉप ब्रास्ट लीडर्स हैं उन्होंने वोट फॉर इंडिया के नाम पर वोट मांगे हैं इनकी तमाम स्कीम्स जितनी भी थी गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स इन लोगों ने जितनी भी स्कीम्स लॉन्च की है सब स्कीम्स इंडिया से रिलेटेड की है चाहे डिजिटल इंडिया हो चाहे खेलो इंडिया हो चाहे पढ़ेगा इंडिया बढ़ेगा इंडिया तमाम तरह की जो इनकी जितनी भी स्कीम्स थी सब इंडिया थी तो आज या तो ये पहले कंट्री से अपने माफी मांगे कि ये जो हमने इंडिया नाम दिया था ये ब्रिटिशर्स का दिया हुआ नाम था उन्हीं को हमने नाइन ईयर्स फॉलो किया उन्हीं को अटल जी ने भी अपनी सात साल की गवर्नमेंट में फॉलो किया और आज अचानक हमारी नींद खुल गई है कि ये तो जो है अंग्रेजों का दिया हुआ नाम है और हम इससे माफी मांगते पहले तो माफी मांगे जो आपने स्कीम शुरू की है 
और जो आपने इंडिया के नाम पे प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी जी ने उनकी स्पीच तमाम चल रही है कि वोट फॉर इंडिया बढ़ेगा इंडिया तमाम उनके जो है इंडिया के नाम पे वोट मांगे हैं अब क्योंकि इंडिया के नाम पे सारी ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज एक साथ हो गई हैं तो इसलिए okay. उससे कैसे भागा जाए उससे okay. कैसे बचा जाए ओके ऑल राइट थैंक यू अनुज अथरे फ्रॉम द कांग्रेस एंड थैंक यू अनिला सिंह फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी ऑन on this particular piece of story it is likely to become controversial let's take a look at how the opposition parties are going to react to this move made by the ncr for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon